Hi again and welcome to the High Tunnel at the Jackson County office. I'm Katie Bell and today we're going to be showing you how to seed uh, transplants for winter time. So we're specifically going to be seeding uh, romaine lettuces. I've got two different varieties of romaine lettuce that I've already seeded once and we're going to be setting these up for a succession planting. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to seed and this pretty much works for seeding transplants for any type of seed we're working with lettuce because we're getting ready to go into fall and lettuce is a cool season crop. So that's really applicable for right now. So the first thing that we're going to do is we have our trays. These are 72 cell trays. Um, you could use anything to seed into. It's just something that's a shallow area. We can control the water and um, control our seed environment very well here. So the first thing we're going to do is I have um, this is a potting mix. And most potting mixes are um, sphagnum peat moss mixes. So they're actually a soilless medium. So they don't have any actual soil or what you would think of as dirt. Uh, it's a neutral mix. It's also slightly acidic. So you wanna be careful if you were using this to like fill into your beds, but just for the seed plugs, this is great. This is the same kind of medium that the that your transplants, your, your flowers, your garden flowers that you'd buy, they'd be in this kind of kind of uh, medium. I've had it soaking for probably 10 or 15 minutes because the way this comes, it's usually extremely dry and you wanna wet it down really good because it takes a lot of water to get it, to get it wetted down. Um, and if you don't have it wet enough, it will pull moisture away from your seeds. Another thing to keep in mind is that using these seed trays, if you're reusing them, like I am uh, recycling seed trays, you wanna make sure that you've uh, sterilized them because there can be soil borne um, diseases that can linger or root diseases that can linger in these plastic trays. So you can just soak them in a, in a bleach water solution for 10 to 15 minutes and then rinse them out really good. And that should take care of most of your soil borne diseases. So we've got this in here and we want to pack it in just a little bit. We don't want to smash it down really tight, but just enough. So a good way to do this is to take another tray and line it up over the top and then just press evenly. And I'm not pressing really hard, but just enough so that that way I work out any air pockets um, or uh, depressions that I've got in there. And so once I've done that, I just sweep off any excess and fill in any holes that were really, um, missing. The corners are usually where you have, uh, where you get problems with your soil. So the next thing we're going to do is since we're seeding lettuce, it doesn't seed. It has a really shallow planting depth. that's about a quarter of an inch, but you just, so what I usually do is I just take my finger and just make a little depression. And this again is pretty standard for any seed. You just want to think about lettuce seeds are really small, so you don't have to make a very big divot. But if you're doing something like pumpkins, you may want to push in quite a bit further to make sure that you're getting good seed to soil contact. So I've already seeded this variety once. This is baby romaine lettuce. Uh, this is a head lettuce. So you can seed head lettuces in these cell trays and then transplant them. But there's also lettuce that's loose leaf lettuce. It comes up more, well, more loose leaves. It doesn't have a nice tight head. So that you would direct seed because it doesn't do well in these, in these cell trays and it also makes it more difficult to harvest if you start at them. So one thing that's important is when you put the seed in, you wanna pour it out into your hand and you wanna have your hands be fairly clean or at least dry. Um, so that that way you're not uh, sticking, it makes it harder to work with the seeds. And these are lettuce seeds and they're really small. So they're hard to work with. And you don't wanna to put too many seeds in your hand because you don't want to put them back into the envelope if you've gotten too many because you can um the oils on your skin sometimes can cause them to start to germinate or if you have some sort of soil borne pathogen on your hands then you've contaminated your whole seed packet um, so that's just something to keep in mind so we try to get one seed per cell these are so small and they stick together that it's really easy to get two in there you can use i've used tweezers before to kind of help
So you've, you've labeled your steaks so you know what you have. And then you also want to just maybe put the date on the back or the front uh, so that way you know whenever you planted them. Uh, this is especially important for um, succession plantings. That way you can hit that two to three week mark um, and you know what you're looking at. And then that way also you know that if you have a tray that's not germinating for some reason and you look at the date and you know that it should have germinated, then you know that you can reseed or inspect for a problem. Like maybe you have mice or something that have taken all your seeds, which does happen. So we're just gonna lightly give it a little shower and it doesn't need to be much. Just and water it once a day, um, kind of moisture dependent. You don't want it to be soaking wet, but you also want it to be, this is about the moisture that we want. So you can kind of just lightly push your finger in and then it'll spring back slowly. So we've seeded everything in here. Um, we've got our two types of lettuce. We had our baby romaine and then our Paris Island romaine. So these are two different kinds of head lettuce and I did half the tray in one variety and half the tray in the other variety. So that, that way it matches my other tray that we seeded about two weeks ago. And then we can just have a continuous supply of lettuce. So now that I've gotten everything seeded, we need to cover the seeds up. Um, Lettuce seeds don't need to be covered very deeply. Like I said, about a quarter of an inch. Um, so we're just gonna take a little more of our potting mix and we're gonna lightly, I usually just kind of lightly pour it over and just kind of sprinkle it. You wanna be careful that you're not dragging it around too much because sometimes with these seeds being so shallow, they'll stick to the potting mix and then you've moved them around. Um, so you just wanna be aware and careful of that. So you can do it this way. Another way that you can do it is you can also just pinch um, the hole closed, but I like to just give them a little extra sprinkle of soil just in case. And as long as you're not seeding a bunch of different things, you can use some of the soil. And as long as your soil, as long as your tabletop is clean, you can use some of the soil that you've scraped off. You just wanna be careful of this. If you're seeding a bunch, of different things because you might accidentally put seeds into the soil on the table and then you've accidentally uh, kind of created a weed problem within your cell tray. <laughs> so that's something to keep in mind. But since all I've done is lettuce and this is clean, I'm just gonna go ahead and reuse just a little bit. Just make sure everything is filled in. And again, I'm not packing it really tight because I don't wanna smother the seeds or um, create, set this stuff up like concrete. I just want it to be nice and light and loose so that way the seeds don't have too hard of a time whenever the first leaves break through the medium. So there we go. 